This toy is just so amazing. Just like, it's got this cool stuff. It's just like, is that a new head sculpt? Oh my gosh, it's got like terror claws? Bro, well, look at that chest plate. I mean, <laughs> hey. What are you doing with my toy? Nothing. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Don't forget to do your intro. Yo, Joe. This is Alger from the Crack Desk Class Podcast. Back with another unboxing video here on YouTube for Motu Monday. Today we're going to be looking at the Terror Claw Skeletor. <laughs> also joining us on Ethan. Should we pause again? Sure. I think that's a good enough pose. <laughs> Uh, so this one is, along with the um, other He-Man one, what's it called? Flying Fist He-Man. This came along with this was the other deluxe pack. Um, when it says, Skeletor attacks with his deadly terror claws in his quest to rule the entire universe. So the fun thing with this was that on the back, it had the other half of the Eternian Towers, if you had the other... Flying Fist back card, then you could see the full Eternia Tower, Eternia playset, which now we know that we're getting that from Mattel Creations. Uh, what are you doing over there? <laughs> anyway, this was, I'm doing this one first after the other Wave 6 because on the back, the cross cell that has our next wave that we're going to be doing, which I've already done a few of those because I got them earlier. So. Which one's how we have um, them? Jitsu, Late Night Stratos, and Buzz Off. And then you the better Buzz Off. So the Sorceress is the only one that I haven't done yet. So, um, Also on the back, there's a Too Bad character, which I know we're getting in the Masterverse, but I don't know about the origins yet. So And also maybe in the CGI. Yeah. Oh, hey, can you grab my knife that's in the box there? In the tin. In the tin. Yep. So he comes with... His claws like normal, and then also this little skull weapon. Thank you. So we'll open him up, take a look, and see how it goes. Here. And hopefully, don't cut open the car, the comic book. Are you just playing with toys over there? Yep. Okay. Oh, and his hand fell out. Another hand. Looks like. Oh, it fell out. He has an extra hand. Give me a hand. Got one. And another head sculpt as well. So let's take a closer look at all these. Oops, I'll get the guy out here. Maybe. Who is this? Other skeleton? <laughs> Other skeleton? Oh, it looks like. So on this one, um, Instead of being tied in, he has like these little plastic clips that clip into his back there. So you just pull on those like that, and they pull out. And then, oh, looks like he is still caught. With these little zip ties. Yep. <clears throat> All right. So, like with the Flying Fists He-Man, he this one also has uh, action, a feature where you move him and his arms move. So now it looks like he's running like this, which the original Terra Claws had as well. 
and he's got this kind of this midriff uh, metallic midriff as well and you can move these arms around like this um, it's just a shirt that goes up shorter like this shows your shows your abs your six pack so this one also comes with these terror claws or just like giant hands and we have seen actually seen these if you have purchased the masters of the wwe universe line um they have a couple of versions of these uh with triple h and with braun Strowman. so these just clip on to his hand to his wrists here and like this uh, clips on here the original vintage one was a little easier because his his um, hands were actually molded into. You could basically just mold them. His hands were molded differently, so you could just set it into his hands, which is a cool thing. But this this comic features the one and only Blast arm Kordak. Oh yeah, with his arm that turns mm -hmm. into a cannon. Mm -hmm. Cool. I like this. What? Oh, this little giant. So we put the claws on and he move his arm like this, then he does like the his striking action of the claws. Um he also has a clip on the back, which Ethan has there, with this it's like a little dinosaur thing. So if you attach it to this guy <laughs> instead his of his cousin's got one. <laughs> um so it has a little peg in the middle where you can attach to his is a gripping hand and if you do like this and then when you do his action feature it goes like this like that it does that action of striking um what a, the enemy i guess he I, I wouldn't suppose that his torso came off, comes off uh well let's look at the instruction of replacement parts nope yeah, so on this one, because of this action feature of him swiveling around, he does not is not able to pull off that chest, the torso piece. But you can get his head and his arms and his his shins. Like all the other origins. So this one's not as swappable, so you can't um, pull off his torso like that and put him on a different skeletor. So um, he also came with this Havoc staff, um, which is kind of just a can you take that? Which has been everywhere. Um, so let me see that again. So, <laughs> whoopsies. So this then attaches to his back. That's what that little clip is right there, and that just attaches somehow. Maybe there, so he can hold on to it when he has both of his claws. So my vintage one, I just have the claws. I don't have this uh, dinosaur bone piece weapon um or i don't have the clip either i don't think it's because the clip tends to break off on the original ones oh my gosh you mean vintage? did i say vintage the original you said original yeah that's a vintage it means the same thing um so yeah i honestly my two favorite toys out of the entire origins things would be just these things right here yeah um, so he does have another head sculpt. It's this little uh, kind of mouth open one, which you've kind of seen before, but it's not as open like on the one, the first origin one that came out. And then they have this other version of this head sculpt, which I think is more of a subdued uh, face than than the, the the ones they put out for. Um, I don't know the the redo the re sculpted head one wave i guess um because they had the wave one with the open mouth and then they had that revision of the head sculpt um, which i did on another video before uh so this is like a just another version of them so i'm gonna have to get all the heads together and like line them up and do like a photo shoot of that maybe so um, um he also has a, like i said another hand so you can hold like i don't know something else probably to Put on this hand so it fits into his terror claws better, <laughs> like that, which it probably would. Maybe. Oh, 
<laughs> Everybody's attacking. Gray skull. <laughs> The vintage one is pretty much just clear because it's, it's kind of, Whoa, well, I just had an idea. What? Why is this one is like a medieval one? Uh-huh. Then this one is kind of the newest one. Uh -huh. But guess what? What? This one's an abandoned one, so it doesn't <laughs> have anything in it. Is it the haunted Castle Grey Skull? Yeah. I'm kind of just playing. Okay. But I'll answer any questions you have. Uh, what do you think of Terraclaws? It's pretty cool. I wish I had inside like a way to like hold on to it a little better than just clipping into his wrist. Oh, I think Lily's back. Oops, there goes that one. Sounds like Dar's back. The dog's going crazy. Anyway, so that's pretty much it for Terror Claws. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe. I forgot to say it at the beginning, but be sure to like and subscribe. Hit that like button. A follow button. Peace. Is there a follow button? Yeah, sure there is. Yeah, there's a thumbs up. Thumbs up. Yeah, hit the thumbs up. Hit the follow. Subscribe. And uh, See you guys. Should, be sure to be sure to find us on all of our social platforms. You can find all those at www.crackedasticlassic.com. Uh, while you're there, be sure to go to the links for Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok. And other things. What are you doing? <laughs> it's kind of like making... it's it's fun. Oh, that's a lot better. Yeah, it's this this ring I have around it is kind of funky. Anyway, while you're at our webpage, be sure to look at our sponsors. They are Toy Hacks at toyhacks.com and also Big Bad Toy Store at uh, which you can use our affiliate link, which is www.bbts.crackdashcross.com. That sends you directly to. Big Bad Toy Store, where then you can bookmark that and use our affiliate link, which helps us help them help us. I don't know, something like that. That's pretty much it for now. Terra Claus and Ethan is saying bye, and I'm and I'm saying ciao for now. <laughs>